Hi, I'm here with Chris Houlihan from the History of Medicine. And Chris, we've got some things on the table here. I want you to tell us a little bit about them. Well, all these little objects that you see here are called scarificators. And there, there are several ways of letting blood in the late 18th, early 19th centuries. And one of the most efficient was, was the scarificator. It was a spring action mechanism. Oh, look at that. With a trigger, and when it was wound up and placed on, on the patient's arm or leg or wherever blood was supposed to be drawn, the physician would, would activate the trigger, and the blades would, would immediately be released and, and make an immediate incision in, in the flesh. Uh, a scarificator would be used, of course, when you wanted to draw a lot of blood as opposed to a single blade lancet or, or a spring action lancet. Um, normally, these, these mechanisms would have 12 blades. Wow. That was the average. Some would have a few less. I think these are probably all, all 12 blade. Um, yes, these are all 12 blade scarificators. And. Um, About how old are these? All these date uh, probably from the late 18th to the mid 19th century. This mechanism here, for example, belonged to a Rochester physician by the name of. William Smith Ely, and uh, he was a Rochester surgeon, trained in the Civil War. Uh, he was in Annapolis during the Civil War. So these mechanisms, in fact, this is an eight-blade scarificator, so this is a little, little bit smaller. But um, even during the Civil War, this this kind of mechanism would be used for bloodletting. So would physicians own just one of these, or would they often have many of them? I know? imagine they, they would have have one or that they may have gotten acquired many from during the course of their practice. It was common at this period in time when instrument technology didn't really change so so rapidly to, to inherit surgical tools and surgical kits and bloodletting instruments and, and copying instruments from, from an older physician under whom you may have studied or, or a father in law who was a physician or whatever. Okay. Thanks for that scary moment with the scarificators. Yeah, yeah.